What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be ranking all the Team Diamonds in Madden 22. There's a total of 33. Each team got one, so that's 32, plus the Master, Dan Marino, who gets all the Team Chems. That is 33 players we are, we are going to be ranking. Um, So basically, S is going to be guys that are, they're the best. Out of, they are just top, out of all the Team Diamonds that came out, they are the, the best. They set the bar. A, you know, the guys are really good, but they're just not as good as the guys and b is like the cards are good you know on a theme team kind of cards you know on a theme team older cards are great it's s tier but without it, it's just it's all right c is like uh it would be good on a theme team but without it it's just you know like meh f means it's card sucks i don't think we're gonna have any f's just because i mean it's not like any of these cards are ass at least i think so um yeah let's get right into it first up we have chris long i have these guys stats up right here too so i'm gonna be spitting out their uh stats chris long he's got 81 speed 90 power move 88 strength um i don't know i feel like chris long it's not a bad card on a theme team he would be really nice but i feel like the card is just mad the fact that he's end you know what i mean um it kind of sucks because he's not that fast so i would actually put this card in c to be honest with you guys just because of his speed and he's he doesn't weigh a whole lot he's 270 i mean that's not that bad but i, I i'm not feeling it okay next up here we have uh we got next charles haley so charles haley he is 86 speed pretty nice 87 strength 89 finesse 90 power move he's 255 65 he's got that speed he's pretty nice charles harley is um not that bad i think charles we'll put him at b he's not spectacular but you know he's he's overall he's you know he's pretty nice okay next up we got a qb phil sims so phil sims we all know he does get uh pretty sure he gets high route master right what is his awareness real quick Da, 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 da. what does it say he should okay actually i don't know if he does he get high route master i don't know if he gets high route master i'll be on okay no no he doesn't phil does not get high route master so damn reno is the only qb who gets high route master never mind my fault so this actually makes his card even worse because he has absolutely no speed he's got 90 throw yeah this card sucks i'll be honest phil's f yeah that card is that card sucks bro i mean that is just yeah he sucks fuck phil sims all right Next up, we got Deuce Staley, and I'm not being biased with Deuce. I'll be honest. He, I think we can all agree he is easily one of the best running backs in the game, period. 91 speed. He's a receiving back. He gets a backfield master for one AP. He's got 87 stiff arm, 86 truck, 92 juke, 85 spin, 86 break tackle. Deuce is actually going to be S. Like I said, I'm not being biased here. I'm just, I think we can all agree. I, I went against a lot of people that have had Deuce Staley. The guy's turn, you know what I mean? All right, next up here we have Mr. Brian Arakpo. So he's got 83 speed, 89 power move. His finesse is not beautiful. 87 strength. He's 6'4", 257. This card is, you know, for an outside linebacker, you want them to be faster, and he is just not. So this card is I'm actually going to put under Chris Long because at least Chris Long, you know, Actually, I don't know if you could change Chris Long to D tackle. I really don't know. But honestly, I would take the Chris Long card over Brian Rackpo. Brian Rackpo is just, he's a mad kind of guy. All right, now we got Thurman Thomas. This card is very good. Uh, 90 speed. He is also a receiving pack, a uh, receiving back. He's got uh, 84 carrying. It's a little low. 80 truck, a 91 change of direction, 91 spin, 87 juke, 92 break tackle. He is very good, but he is not as Thurman. Is gonna be a deuce is like a way better person if I'm just be I'm just being honest here. But Thurman is still very good. All right, next up we got Ricky Williams, another running back. Ricky, power back, 90 speed. He's got 85 carrying, 90 truck, 87 stiff arm, 88 change of direction, 89 juke, 92 break tackle. Ricky, very very good. He is also going to be um, a. Honestly, I think I'm going to put because Ricky does. Mm, I'm gonna put Ricky over Thurman just because I don't know. I just I am okay. I think I like the card a little bit more. All right, we got Aaron Glenn. This guy's a five foot nine corner. Five foot nine. I'm I'm taller than him, bro. And I used to play corner too. Uh, he's 91 speed, 89 man coverage, 87 zone. Yeah, I'm not. I am not liking that card at all. Aaron Glenn. That is F. Uh, he's about to feel like that, but yeah, Aaron Glenn. Yeah, I'm not feeling that card, bro. That, yeah, not at all. 
All right, New England folk. He is also a uh, receiving back. He's 88 speed, uh, 91 juke, 89 spin, 92 change of direction, 87 break tackle, very low carrying, 83. Uh, his route running is really nice. 85 short route run. Damn. Um, yeah, he's not the fastest in the world, um, but he's still a pretty good card. I'll give him B. We could, uh, over Charles Haley? I would. I would put him over Charles Haley. We'll put him B. Kevin's not that bad. All right, we got Jack Tatum, the safety for the Raiders. He's 5'10". He's a little, he's a little shorter, uh, but he has 89 speed, 91 zone coverage. Um, let's see. He's got 91 hit power. 80 block shed he's nothing really too special you know he's just he's cool uh we could put him b i will put him as the under charles harley and uh kevin falk but he's he's all right all right next up we got the master himself dan marino now i'll be honest dan marino is obviously you know the only quarterback in the game the guitar route master powered up he's 78 speed he gets every chem so if you get a 50 out of 50 theme, uh, theme team he's you know 80 speed 94 throw power 92 short 94 medium 95 deep he's got that 95 under pressure he gets set feet lead high route master you get what you want on the guy um so by default he's s you know he's gonna be s by default purely because he's the only key with high route master you know so still a really good card though it is really good. I, I would love to use it, but there's no way I'm going to get it. Uh, so yeah, Marino obviously has. Uh, Ahmad Green, uh, power back. So he's 89 speed, 91 carrying, 89 truck, 90 stiff arm, 86 change of direction, 87 break tackle, 88 juke, 72 spin. Uh, powered up, he gets 90 speed. Uh, so he's basically just like a lesser Ricky Williams. If we're being real here, he's a lesser Ricky. Uh, he weighs less than, I think Ricky was 230. Ahmad's 218, so... I don't know uh ahmad he's not asked though like we could definitely go b um i'm gonna go under charles haley but he's uh, i'm still putting over that tatum card so he'll be b all right next up we got haloti not up haloti is 6'4 340 pounds i have this card uh he's very slow though 75 speed he's got 90 strength 90 power move oh my god 91 block shot that is just uh very good card um ah man i think i think we're gonna have to go a for a we're gonna go a hello gonna be a i mean look he's six foot four 340 pounds you're not gonna get a player like that anywhere else he's a little bit slower but look the guy is going to shed and make plays there was a game for me where the guy had like three sacks he is i he's really put unpredictable on the guy makes plays look i'm not trying to be biased but i'm just telling you all right all right, we got Josh Cribs. Josh Cribs is a deep threat archetype, six foot one. He's 90 speed, uh, 90 deep route run, 86 short, 87 medium. He's really nothing too spectacular. I am out of all the receivers that came out, in my opinion, I am actually going to put Josh Cribs at a C. I will put him as the high C though, over Long and Arakpo, but he's nothing too spectacular. Next up, we got TJ. House Manzada, pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. He's 6'2", 200 pounds. He's a slot archetype, which is very good. Uh, 89 speed, 90 short route run, 87 or 88 medium, not 87 deep. I like this card a lot. Um, I am going to put him at A. That is very good. Um, I'll put him just on. Actually, no, we'll put him over Ricky Williams because he's he's borderline S. That is a pretty look in this Madden speed obviously matters but it doesn't mean everything in the world in this game it really doesn't um so i like the card a lot you know he's not the he's you know powered up to 90. He, he it's a good card he's a big body he's he'll get good abilities okay i like him a whole lot and this card right here i want this guy a lot marcus colston oh my god i want this card bro i can't lie i want it he's got 89 speed he's six foot four 225 he's a physical archetype 87 medium 90 short 91 deep i i really kind of want this card oh I, I i love marcus colson too marcus for me is going to be s tier i'm just gonna say that right now um he is going to be s tier i mean out of all the i feel like he is the in my opinion the best receiver that came out i mean six foot four oh man physical archetype he'll get some good abilities he's nice bro 
Next up, we got another receiver. We got Andre Ryzen, who is a route runner. He's six foot 188, which route runner is pretty much the best archetype in the game. He's 90 speed, 88 short, 87 medium, uh, 90 deep. Very, very good. Uh, we're going to put Andre at A. Um, I'm not going to put him over Manzada, but he is, you know, he's he's pretty goddamn good. I'll tell you that. He is pretty goddamn good. All right, we got to keep to leave six foot one he's 205 he's a man to man corner 90 speed 87 zone 90 man coverage 91 press he is yeah talib's pretty legit talib is pretty legit um but being real with y'all i'm i don't know i'm i feel like he's i feel like it's a, he's a b tier uh corner though i'll be honest i'll put him at the top of the but i feel like he's b uh he doesn't bring anything special to the table i'll be real with you he's not bringing anything too special or exotic to the table all right we got the uh, jaguars guy uh what the fuck is his name oh tony brackens tony brackens okay so he's a 6'4 he's 265 he's an end uh 83 speed 88 strength 90 power move very bad finesse got 89 block shit he's really nothing too crazy i'll be honest uh he's not f though we'll go c um he's not better than long i say he's better than arakpo we'll put him over arakpo that arakpo is actually kind of ass uh we got the colts guy gary brackett he's a middle linebacker he's five foot okay this guy's that he's a he's a five foot eleven middle linebacker he's already not gonna jump he's f he's fucking f i'm sorry i'm sorry he's f he's f all right chicago has tommy harris a six foot three 295 defensive tackle who is 84 speed that is fucking insane um 90 power move 88 strength 90 blocks so this card is really good this card is very good it's basically kind of like is it better than hello Nada? you know height and weight wise no statistic wise they're pretty much they're close so we'll put tommy b tommy will go b um Right under Rakeem Tlaib. He is, he, he's close to an A tier guy. He's close. All right, we got offensive lineman here. We got Gary Zimmerman, a six foot six, 294 left tackle. Holy shit. So he's got 88 strength. His run blocker stats are amazing. Um, fuck it. We'll, th we'll throw the guy in A. I mean, he looks, he looks like a fucking tank. I'm not going to put him anywhere too crazy. We'll put him just under, uh, we'll put him under Thurman Thomas, but he's a tank. All right, we got Arizona Cardinals guy, free safety Larry Wilson. He's six foot 190, 89 speed, 90 zone. Uh, his tackling is not very good. Yeah, this card is just nothing special for me, bro. I'll be honest. He's C. He's just nothing too uh, spectacular. We'll put him. We'll put him just over Chris Long. He's just there's nothing spectacular about him. Uh, another middle linebacker here. We got. Derek Johnson for the Chiefs, six foot three, two forty-two. So he's he's a big guy, you know. Powered up, he gets eighty-eight speed. He's got eighty-nine hit power. Uh, what is his zone? So he's got eighty-four zone. I mean, for a middle linebacker, this really isn't too bad, you know, for what we have in the game. So we'll give him B, but he is going to be the lowest B guy. We'll give him B out of respect. All right, we got the Cowboys tight end Billy Joe Dupree. Don't really know this guy he is. He's six foot four though. He's two twenty five, uh, eighty seven speed, powered up. Let's see that route running. Uh, he's got ninety one short, eighty seven medium, eighty four deep. Ah, this guy's once again. I don't think he's anything too special. I think he's gonna be C. Um, where in C though? I will put him just over Chris Long. Nothing too spectacular about him. All right, now we have another left tackle, Lomas Brown for Detroit, 6'4", 282, 91 strength. Okay, this guy looks like Zimmerman, but on a little bit more crack. So now that we've seen this Zimmerman, you're actually getting bumped down to B. Uh, we'll put him right over Tommy Harris, and Lomas will take that spot. I mean, he is just, Lomas is just a better person. All right, Carolina's guy, they got to end a six foot five, 275 pass rush. He looks more like a D tackle. 80 speed, 88 strength, 90 power move, uh, 92 blocks. I mean, he looks good. I mean, he looks like a lot of these other pass rushers that have came out. Um, we'll put him at B. Uh, I'll put him right under Tatum. Just, I mean, there's just nothing too spectacular about the guy. Like, you know what I mean? But he's, he looks good. Another middle linebacker, Seattle's guy. They got Brian Bosworth, six foot two, two fifty five, 
Okay, so this guy's actually faster than uh, that uh, Chiefs one. I forgot his name, uh, but he's 89 speed powered up. <sighs> but, but, oh, he has the same. So, yeah, so this guy is just a better version of the Chiefs one. So, fuck it. They're going right next to each other. There you go. You guys can be right next to each other. And beats here. Have fun. All right. Another lineman, left guard for the Steelers, Alan Fanka. He's got 89 strength. He doesn't look as juiced as the other guys, but he's a left guard. Um, we could put him in B. He's not, he's, he's, he's good, but you know what I mean? Um, I'll put him over the linebackers, but that's about it. Bernard Pollard for Houston. He's six, six foot one, 225. He's 88 speed. He's got 90 zone. Uh, once again, there's nothing really too spectacular about the guy, bro. He's, I'm going to put him in C, but um yeah because i mean him and larry wilson yeah i'll put him right under larry wilson it's just not too spectacular about them bro uh we got frank winovich the titans tight end who is 6'3 253 now obviously this is a run blocking guy so you got to look at him you know not from a pass catching standpoint but from a run blocking standpoint which he is very good but most people don't really use run blocking tight ends um for what he is being the best run blocking tight end in the game He's still gonna be C, but we'll just put him as the highest C. I feel like that's that's fucked up for the Titans though. They kind of they, they did them dirty. All right, Minnesota, they got a receiver, a mod Rashad. Six foot two, 205, 90 speed. He does have the worst receiving archetype in the game, deep threat, which is kind of why Josh Cribbs got seats here. Um he kind of looks a lot like Josh Cribbs, to be honest with you. So he can be C tier with him, but his right wing's just a little bit better than him yeah i'll be honest all right another receiver we got a uh, charlie joiner 5 foot 11 188 but he, he's smaller but he's a slot receiver he's got 91 speed he looks pretty good okay he's got some speed he's one of the better receivers so for charlie we could put him as the highest b i can't put him as the highest because he is uh he's a little small but overall this is the list boys so that we only really got three s tier guys i mean there shouldn't be a whole lot of s tier guys or right? you, you don't want to just give s tier to everybody s tier is supposed to be like a sacred thing you know what i mean we got marino staley marcus colston there's really nobody else like them a tier we got um tj hasmanzada we got andre ryzen ricky williams thurman thomas elodi nada and lomas brown uh some of the higher tier b tier guys we got charlie joiner akib talib zimmerman tommy harris kevin folk charles haley am i green the other guys are kind of on the lower end uh the only f tier guys we had were aaron glenn phil sims and uh gary brackett and aaron glenn because he's five foot nine and he's nothing special about him phil sims he doesn't get high route master and he's slow as shit uh gary brackett because he's a small middle linebacker and he's slow so yeah I mean that is basically the list you guys let me know do you disagree with any of these guys do you think you know some people should be higher some people should be lower let me know what you think about some of these cards who do you have who are you using who do you think is underrated who do you think is overrated Just comment some down below but uh, like comment subscribe boys your boy is out